Hi boys and girls, welcome to your video on the Pythagorean Theorem. Let's get started with some of the key vocabulary terms. So in the Pythagorean Theorem, there's three parts to the sides of the triangles, and they each have special names. The hypotenuse, not hippopotamus, the hypotenuse is the side directly across from the right angle. Now the two sides that make up the right angle are called leg A and leg B. Again, these are the sides that form the right angle. Now as discussed in class, Pythagorean theorem only works with a triangle that's a right triangle. And you can tell by usually a right angle is formed by a box. So this is the theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So the length of side a squared plus the length of side b squared equals the length of side c squared. Where a is a leg, b is the other leg and C is the hypotenuse. So let's do an example together. In this example here, I'm going to take A squared, which is 5 inches, plus B squared, which is 12 inches, equals the side of C squared. And the hypotenuse is the measure that is unknown. So 5 squared is 25, and you can use your calculator for this computation, plus 12 squared, which is 144, equals C squared. Well, if I add 25 plus 144, that equals 169 which equals c squared. Now, 169 isn't the length of c, because we still have a square on this side of my equation. So, 169 is equal to c squared. And going back to inverse operations, what is the opposite of squaring a number? Well, it's taking the square root. So if I take the square root of 169 and the square root of c squared, the 2 and the square root cancel out to just c, and the square root of 169 is 13. So you can go back and check your work. 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. Let's look at another example. We're going to take 8 squared plus 15 squared equals c squared. And again, you can use your calculator for computation. 8 squared is 64 plus 15 squared. which is 225, which equals c squared. I'm going to combine these two terms together. I'm going to take 64 plus 225, which equals 289, which equals c squared. Now the Inverse of squaring a number is taking the square root. So I'm going to take the square root So the square root of 289 is 17. So 17 is equal to C to C. 
equal to 17 inches. Okay, let's visit your graphic organizer. So again, the side directly across from the right angle is C. And then the two sides that make up the right angle are A and B. And these can be interchangeable. So this could also be B and this could be A. And applying order of operations, you'll still get the same answer. So let's say the side length of A is 4 squared plus the side length of B, let's say B is 9 squared. We can use this information to find the side length of C squared. So 4 squared is 16 plus 9 squared is 81. which equals C squared. Now I'm going to combine these two terms. 97 equals C squared and I'm going to take the square root of both sides So 97 square root is a decimal, we'll say about 9.8 is equal to C. Now on the bottom I have some key vocabulary. Again, the legs of the triangle are the two sides that form the right angle. Hey, Quince. You're fine. Just, you know, teaching kids about Pythagorean theorem. And the hypotenuse is a side that's opposite the right angle. Okay, if you have any further questions, make sure you come into class tomorrow with those questions. Otherwise, um, you will be doing a worksheet tomorrow on Pythagorean theorem. And we're also going to learn a little bit more about who created or kind of discovered Pythagorean theorem and why he was so strange. All right, have a good night.